we're going to take all of this stuff and make this a 2500 watt hour 1200 watt solar generator power station easy to do a lot of fun and you'll save a ton of money over buying a store-bought one so let's check it out see what we got going on here so we'll start here we've got the ability to hook up solar panels this unit can actually take over 500 watts of solar we have a battery switch that'll turn the whole unit on or off we have an inverter switch that'll turn the inverter on and off and we have two 120 volt outlets and two usb charging ports so let's pop this thing open and see what we got so inside we have the three components that it takes to make a solar power station first thing you need is a battery this is a 12 volt 200 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery that i made myself out of 3.2 volt prismatic cells then we have a 1200 watt pure sine wave inverter that does 2400 surge this is a gandel these are solid inverters i love these inverters i've got several of them so over here we have our ep ever solar charge controller and at 12 volts this thing can do a little over 500 watts of solar so this isn't really a how-to because this is the first one i've ever made but it was pretty easy and a lot of fun so i will walk you through what i did and how i made it begin with you got to build yourself a box i'm not a carpenter but i built this one pretty easily uh, if i was to do it again i would probably paint it first but uh, you can easily build a box if i can make one surely you guys out there can make one even better and as far as wiring all this wiring is two gauge back up here so here is the battery switch the battery has a battery post inline fuse 125 amp fuse just in case something bad happens and over here we have a the negative bus bar everything's connected to the negative bus bar that is a 100 amp bus bar so it is rated perfectly fine for the setup and it just happens to be what i had lying around this is a 250 amp bus bar which again i also had just lying around and it will be perfectly fine the bottom here we have a fan this fan is controlled by this controller here so when it gets above 85 degrees in here the fan will automatically go on i have various holes so it has some ventilation over there and over there of course on this side we have the um, outlets plugged in here we have the remote control plugged in there and then they come back over here so let's turn it on see what we get so we just turn on now all the battery is connected and we'll turn that on now the inverter is on you see the inverter is flashing there um, one thing that a lot of people that make these do is they have uh, some sort of monitoring device. I don't have a monitoring device built in because I just use my um, Bluetooth app. Uh, my battery has a Bluetooth mod on it, so I just use my phone. But you could add that. I mean, there's tons of things you could add. You could add little lights on it. And I actually bought some lights that I was going to put on it, but I decided against it. Uh, you could put a circuit breaker on it as well as the battery switch you could add more of these you could add a 12 volt like a cigarette lighter adapter i didn't particularly need that so i didn't feel like adding it uh, so there's a million ways to customize this uh, they're not hard to make um, i think building the box was probably the hardest thing um, after that it's really just mounting the um, components and wiring it and i just kind of made it up as i went along i didn't really have a plan so if I was to do it again, I would probably do things a little bit differently. So they're not hard to make, and it was pretty cheap. I'm going to put a, a list below on actually how much this cost to make. Um, I was trying to see how much this would cost to buy a, a comparable uh, EcoFlow or power, uh, you know, one of those um, store-bought ones. I couldn't find one because I used a 1,200-watt inverter, and most of them are a little bit bigger. And then the battery is 25 100 watt hours so it's kind of an unusual configuration but my guess is a store-bought version something like this would probably be at least fifteen hundred dollars and you can easily build this for a fraction of that most of this stuff i had on hand the components the battery of course i had and i've had a ton of batteries 
this. I have several of these, so that was easy to, to find. I have several charge controllers. So my main components I had, um, I bought the fan. Um, again, I had the bus bars. Um, I had to buy this. Um, I had this already. Uh, this, of course, comes with the inverter. And I had to buy this. So really, the only thing I had to buy was this and then the fan. And I had all of the wiring. So, uh, oh, I, buy, I had to buy these to have the airflow. So I didn't have to buy a lot of stuff. Um, it was just mostly stuff I had lying around. I have plenty of wire. Again, this is all two gauge wire. So it's rated for um, this setup. Um, and it was an easy build. Uh, it was fun build. I would really recommend anybody out there that's interested in buying one of these to consider just building yourself one. Uh, fun project. If anyone out there has built one of these, I'd love to hear your uh, experience. Uh, if anyone has questions, uh, leave a question in the comments below. Again, I this is not a how-to because this is the first one I've ever made. But um, if you do have questions or comment, I'd love to hear your input below. As always, like, subscribe, and share. Thanks for watching, and I will uh, talk to you guys soon.